Using calculated columns is fundamental to data analysis and Spotfire, and there's multiple places where you can use calculated columns. Let's go over some of the concepts and examples. In spreadsheet tools, you may be used to going to an individual cell and doing a calculation such as, let's say, the average of these values and doing a calculation that way. Now, this is actually a way to introduce messy data. It's not scalable because this doesn't keep a certain structure. And the way you do a structured good data analysis, not just in Spotfire, but for any data analysis, is you want to have your variables in different columns and observations of those variables in different rows. Now, in Spotfire, a calculated column will work by calculating all the way down the entire column and it'll calculate across your rows. So for instance, on these Airbnb listings, if I wanted to see the number of beds per the number of guests, then I could do this little division here and the calculate column will work by going all the way down. Now there are ways to use a single calculate column value and to do that across multiple rows, but that's with things like over function and those are advanced expression topics. So let's do some simple calculate column examples. Here I have different Airbnb reviews for listings in the Seattle area, and I see I have this price column here. Let's say I wanted to simulate what it would be like if I had a 5% price increase. So I could go to data and add calculated columns, and here uh, I can go to, let's say, my price column, and I can insert this, and I can multiply this by 1.05. And in this whole expression window, you'll see all the columns for your data table right here. You'll see different properties that you can use uh, in, in the center, and you'll see different functions on the right. And each of these functions have examples and uh, a little description of how you use them. If you'd like to change the data table, you can do that from the drop down at the top, and that'll change the columns that are available to you because your calculated columns are working on a single data table at a time. So here I have this price calculation, and I'll call this my price increase. And if I go to preview, um, you'll see that I have for the first 100 rows, I have a preview of the source columns, which is price, and then the price increase, it's going to be 78, 75 for this value. And you can see what this looks like. You can preview what that price increase looks like. So I'll hit OK here. And you'll see that that price increase has been added to my data table. And in my data canvas, you'll see that on the far right node, the data table node, that the calculated column has been added. And I can always edit this if I'd like and change that expression. I can also go into my uh, data panel here and I can see, um, for instance, that calculated value. And here I can go to my gear icon and I can change the expression here as well, as well as format the, the data type. Now, one note is that these calculated columns are always uh, refreshing, they're constantly calculating. And because of that, it, it offers you lots of advantages with doing dynamic analyses. However, if you'd like to join on a calculated column, you can't join on a column that's constantly changing. They'll introduce instability into your data model. So what you'll need to do is actually go to data and column properties, and you go down to your calculated column and you can freeze that column and that will allow you to join on it. But again, those calculations won't refresh. Uh, another advantage of having this refresh is you can use things like document properties. So for instance, if I went to file and document properties and I went over here to properties and I introduced, let's say a uh, percent increase document property and I made this a real value and I'll make this 0.05 and I'll hit okay here and I'll hit OK here. And in my text area, I can edit this text area and I can add a property control. So here I'll add a property control for an input field and I'll link that to my percent increase and I'll hit OK. And I'll call this uh, percent increase. Now we can see here in this text area, I have that percent increase value. So if I go back to my calculated column and I edit this and instead of using 1.05, I instead use a document property, I right click here and I insert as a value, that will insert that 0.05. So I need to multiply this by one plus that 0.05 value and I'll close this and I'll hit okay. And now whenever I change this value, you'll see these change. So if I change this to maybe a 1% increase, you'll see all of those have changed again. So this is now dynamically changing uh, with my document properties and property controls. 
Now, the other way to use calculated columns are as transformations in your data canvas. So if you are using data in Spotfire's memory, you can use transformations. If you're leaving your data external, such as with streaming data, or if you have database data that you're not bringing into Spotfire, you're leaving it external, then you can't do transformations. You'll have to use the calculated column method that we just showed. But if you'd like to bring it into memory, you can use transformations, and that allows you to put calculated columns on any one of your nodes upstream of this, val of, of this final data table. So to do that here, I'll add a transformation here, and I can go to calculate new column, and let's say I want to find the percentage of the total price that the cleaning fee is. So I want to know if the cleaning fee is going to be pretty expensive. So I can so go here to cleaning fee. I'll insert that. I'll divide this by my price by going to price, and I'll insert that. And in formatting, I'll make this a percentage. And I'll call this percent cleaning, and I'll hit OK. Now, when I do this transformation, you'll see that Spotfire has added this new calculated column right on this node. And you can see that over here as well, percent cleaning. And in my data table, you can see the percent cleaning over here on the right. And we can see some of these listings have a really high cleaning fee for uh, the, the actual listing price. That might be something to consider before I book a reservation. Now, when you do the transformations, this happens whenever the data loads in Spotfire. So it happens once, once the data loads, or if you refresh the data and reload the data, then the transformations will execute. But because it's not going to be constantly updating, you can't do things like document properties and, and changing those values. They won't, they won't constantly refresh. You can use document properties, but they'll only refresh again when that data reloads.